Jansen Harris here with the Just Good Network. We're talking Tack McKinley, defensive end for the Atlanta Falcons. They declined his fifth-year option, which means if he doesn't have a big season, guess what? That means bye-bye. Let's talk about Tack. In college, went to UCLA as a junior, started 12 out of 13 games, 35 tackles, three and a half sacks. And then his senior year in 2016, breakout season. This was what made him a first-round draft pick, 10 sacks, 6'2", 250, had a really good 40-yard dash, we're in a 4'5", did his thing. Let's talk about Tack in the NFL. First season, 2017. Second in sacks on the team with six. 20 tackles. Really good rookie year. 2018. He had a career-high three sacks against the Bengals. And he had a team-high seven sacks, 22 tackles. To give you a little bit of perspective on this, at that time, the media, people around the organization were saying, Tack McKinley's that guy, he's developing. And remember, around this time, people were like, what the hell is going on with Vic Beasley? He's not producing, but we got this young guy in Tack McKinley. Then comes 2019, he has some injury issues, the numbers go down. He did play in 14 games, 13 starts, 29 tackles, 3.5 sacks, for Tack McKinley, but the point was he had that shoulder injury, he was out, and people weren't viewing him the same. They were like, what is Tack? Especially after the Vic Beasley saga was over, they got rid of Vic Beasley, because if you listen to the radio, or you listen to people in the media, or just around, everybody was shitting on Vic Beasley, oh, Vic needs to produce how he used to. Now it's the Tack thing. What is Tack McKinley? Is he a great player? Is he this, is that? What is he going to be? Because what we've seen in his rookie year which arguably people say so far in his short career that was his best year. We haven't seen that. Now, I'm a Tack McKinley fan. I think that this kid deserves another contract. I just think the wrong guys are there who are making these decisions. Dan Quinn, his ass is going to get fired after this season if they don't win. Thomas Dimitrov, I think he drafts well. I don't think he's a bad guy when it comes to putting the pieces on building this Falcons team. I think he's a good piece. He'll be a GM somewhere else, just not with the Falcons after this season because Dan Quinn's going to mess it all up, and I've been consistently saying that on this channel. But back to Tack McKinley. That four-year deal were $10 million, 7.89 of it guaranteed. Look, even if it doesn't work out for Tack in Atlanta, let's say Tack goes out there, gets you seven sacks. Hopefully that's not first on the team because what the hell was Dante Fowler for? He's the guy who came in and said, oh, I could, I want to break Michael Strahan's record. I want to do all this great thing. So we'll see. It sounds great on paper. But back to Tack. If Tack could go in there and be second and third on the team with sacks, get seven sacks, hurry the quarterback, have a really good productive year, he might not get the contract with the Falcons. But shit, somebody's going to give Tack big money. You're talking about a guy who's 24 years old. He's fast. T Tack McKinley got moves. I just think he needs to be more consistent and stay healthy. He could do that. Tack McKinley, he might not be a Falcon long term, even though they're talking about bringing him back, but that's just being politically correct. What else are they supposed to damn say? They want to see how he performs this year. But the guys evaluating, again, are most likely not going to be there next season. So Tack McKinley, have a pretty good productive year. You're going to get big money somewhere else. I'm Jansen Harris with the Just Good Network.